For more videos, visit for the sake of education.com or support me at patreon.com forward slash Daxter Bells. All right, guys, let's do this very easy problem where they want you to find the magnitude of F so that the resultant coupled moment is of 12 kilonewton meters uh, counterclockwise and where on the beam does the resultant coupled moment act. So the first thing you need to understand is that as you can see these forces are at an angle of 30 degrees and if you were to divide, let me make this in a new layer, if you were to divide it into components you will have for this F this one right here and for this other F you will have one going down and one going to the right. So as you can see, the assuming that this is the x and this is the y, the components of f in the x cancel out. Cancel out. So they're not really doing anything. The only components doing anything are the those going up and down, the y components. That being said, this is what I'm gonna do. The only components doing anything are the one going down and the one going up. And those are given by F cosine of 30 degrees. And this one going down is also F cosine of 30 degrees or minus F because it's going in an opposite direction as the other one. So what I'm going to do, just to so you can visualize it, is I'm going to erase this because I already drew I already drew the ones that are actually doing something. So these are the only components that are actually doing something into this beam. The other be the other two components cancel out because they're exactly the same force, one going to the left, one going to the right. That you need to understand. So now that we have a much easier problem, we're going to do some of the moments, assuming counterclockwise is positive. So sum of the moments is equal to 12 kilonewton meters because that's what we were told. We are supposed to give you an F that would make this true for the sum of the moments to be 12 kilonewton meters. And this is equal to two couple moments. The 8 kilonewton couple moment, 8 kilonewton, which is the moment produced by this uh, this couple, which is given by the them uh, multiply 8 kilonewtons multiplied by the distance 1.2 meters, 1.2 meters and it's turning it counterclockwise so it's positive that's fine plus the moment created by the couple f times the distance between them which is 0 0.3 0 0.3 meters so we have an equation with only one variable f so if you solve for f you're going to get that f is equal to 9.24 kilonewtons and that is the force required for this beam to have a coupled moment of 12 kilonewtons per meter. Now, where on the beam does it act? Guys, the moment can act anywhere on the beam. I don't know why some instructors decide to give you complex explanations about this. The whole thing is turning and the moment acts anywhere on the beam. Whenever they ask you where is a moment acting, the moment's acting anywhere in the beam. If I can draw it here, or you can draw it at the bottom right here, or you can draw it right in the middle, like right here, it doesn't matter, or here, or here. It's important that you understand that the moments act anywhere on the assembly. So final answer and final answer. Please comment below if you want me to do any problems and I'll be happy to help. Thank you.